Hello friends! Sorry I'm a couple minutes late for Tuesday at 2 in the Stampin' for Fun Craft Cave. Um, so each Tuesday I love to hop on and share some stamping inspiration. I feel like my camera is... Anyway, um, and so we'll see who hops on. Um, so it's around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I like to hop on. I always have a different project to share each week. And we are in the beginning of a new month. Happy September. Can you believe it's September 1st today? Hi, Joy. Hi, Donna. I absolutely cannot believe it's September 1st. It feels like it should still be summer. I could, for me personally, I would love to have summer go all year long. I have no problem with the heat. I have no problem with sunshine. I have, well, where we live, uh, there can be a lot of humidity. No problem with humidity. I would just, uh, I love it. So um, I know my son, he can't wait for fall because uh, the pumpkin spice latte comes out at the Tim Hortons and it's like sweater weather. Um, hi, Norma. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, of course, everything's a bit up in the air with the whole back to school plan. So I think there's that kind of uncertainty and, you know, I'm just getting used to um, our new routine and things are gonna change again, but that's okay. One thing you can count on is I pretty much will be here on Tuesdays at two. All right, Joy's with me. She's into the summer feel as well. Hi, Maureen. Um, Okay, so I have lots of announcements because it's the beginning of the month and Stampin' Up! likes to spring things on us at the beginning of the month. So we'll make sure to cover those. And then because it's the beginning of the month, we have a new product of the month too. So if you haven't tuned in before, how I like to do it is I just, um, I mean, there's so many things I could stamp and share. I love stamping. I've been a demonstrator for almost 13 years. This fall will be 13 years. I can't believe it. Um, and I just love it. I still love it. I still love playing with my stamps, ink and paper. I still love making pretty things. I still feel like awesome when I create something that I love. So I'm just going to continue on being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and it just makes me so happy to be able to share what I create with you. So it's not, not as fun if I just keep it to myself. It means a lot to be able to share with you and to hopefully inspire you for your crafting as well. Hi, Christina. Hi, Debbie. So, um, we finished off last week, uh, end of August, we did we uh, the Warm Hug Stamp Set. So, that is done. We are going to have a new product of the month. Are you guys curious what it is? I should have gotten my catalog to show you guys, but I can't wait. I, I whipped up this card and I can't wait to show you how I made it. Um, but let's do a few quick announcements. One big news on the street, Stampin' Up! sprung a clearance rack update on us today. So if you are the type of person that loves deals and loves specials and loves cheap things, things in the clearance rack are like 60% discounted. So um, you should definitely take a peek. I know lots of stuff have already disappeared. Several have of you have already placed online orders, which is fantastic. That's the best way to do it is to shop online because then you know you're gonna get what's on the store. I am placing a group order tonight. It's Tuesday. Um, I am planning to place a group order tonight before dinner. So if you wanna tack on, if your stuff is still there, fingers crossed, then um, I can put that in for you if you don't mind picking up from my place. Okay. Hey, Gail, how are you? Did you get the bag of stuff? Sorry, side thing. I think I had my son Ethan drop a bag of goodies to your house <laughs> last week. So I hope it... I hope it got there, maybe on Saturday. Um, okay, so announcements. Let me flip the camera over. I'll share some announcements um, and then we'll do some stamping. I am behind on the prize giveaway. So I think for three weeks I haven't done it. So I'm gonna tell you now, last week's winner was Diane, Diane Thatcher. So I will mail you your little prize. The week before um, was Lindsay. So Lindsay, I'll mail you a little prize. And the week before that was uh, Joni. So Joni, I don't think I have your contact info. I don't think you've won a prize before. So if you could message me and then I can send a tiny little prize in the mail to you. Just thanks for, thanks for enjoying the Facebook Live. So anybody who comments, let me know you're here. Tell me what you're enjoying. Just comment away. I love to do um, 
my Tuesday at two stamping demos, but it's way more fun if I can interact with you. So that's why that's my little incentive. Just comment. Um, feel free to also share the video with your friends too. Um, it's my way of just continuing to share the stampy love. Okay, and then when you do, you'll be entered into a little drawing. And I try to draw the winners each week, but with vacation and stuff like that, I got a little behind, but we are back on track now. Oh, good, Gail. I'm glad you got your bag. Okay, so let's flip this over and we'll get started. Okay, I'm always worried about the flip that something is gonna happen, but hopefully you can see my tabletop here. I'll move that over. So for those of you shopping and taking advantage of the um, clearance rack and oh, oh, and it's the first day to be able to get the cut and emboss machine, all those things. So make sure you're using this host code because then you can take advantage of my online shopping special for September. And in September, I am offering tutorials. I've got 82 fall themed tutorials, step by step, broken down. And um, um, so if your order is $30, uh, minimum $30, you'll get 41 tutorials. And then if your order's at least $60, you will get, uh, these are online orders, you'll get 82 fall themed tutorials. And then if you bump up your order just that little bit more to $80 um, online order, I will send you a four card make and take packet, one of which it'll be the four cards that I'll do all each week in the month of September. Okay, so speaking of ordering, um, if you guys were on last week, is that better? If you guys were on last week, you would have heard my announcement about my change with the loyalty card program. So now you can go to my blog and download your own loyalty card and start keeping track of your uh, virtual tokens. And once you get 10 tokens, you get a little shopping spree, which basically I'll buy Stampin' Up! goodies just for you. Okay, so this makes it... Um, this is my new loyalty card program. If you're still on the previous loyalty card, you're fine. You can continue with that till December. But once um, January comes, uh, the old loyalty card program is going to be no longer and we'll all be on this new program. Okay. Um, part of the reason I switched over is because this is something you can just download right from my blog. Just go to stampinforfun.ca and there's a little tab that says loyalty card. You can download it. You can keep track yourself and... Um, then it'll just be, I think, smoother and easier for everyone. Okay, yes, I will give you a call, Gail, no problem. Okay, so that's that announcement. Next announcement is today is, okay, so this is a new thing that I'm doing to try and streamline everything, especially now that I'm doing um, a lot of Take It To Go packets because of COVID and um, I want to try and get things in the mail earlier. So what I'm going to be aiming to do is that RSVPs are going to be due on the first day of the month. So today is September 1st. So for all my September classes, you can check them out at genevieve.stampinup.net. Click the events button and um, most of the classes are virtual uh, through Zoom now, so uh, anyone in all of Canada can participate. But the RSVPs are due by today, and that'll give me time to cut and prep and hopefully mail out your packet to you by in time for the class. Okay, so there's lots happening um, this month. Hi, Brenda. Um, we've got Ladies Retreat Day, where you craft on your own goodies, but you'll get a box of... Um, a box that includes goodie bag, make and take, um, pillow gifts. So just a little sneak peek of one of the make and takes from the ladies retreat day. Everything will be cut and prepped for you um, for that. So that's on uh, September the 19th. And then we have two classes also going on the same day. So if you're doing the ladies retreat day and you want a little extra inspiration, I've got my hippo happiness stamp a stack. Don't you love this? When in doubt, be a unicorn. I think we should all take that to heart. And then I also have my birthday card class, which will be a sweet and simple card class. So that's only $25 for that class. You can add it on as part of the ladies retreat day event and uh, you won't have to pay extra shipping or you can just do the card class on its own. Totally up to you. Those are just little sneak peeks. I don't want to show you everything. That ruins the fun, right? Hi, Karen. And then a uh, technique class, which will be on the third Monday of the month we're doing some faux embossing. So this is one of the cards we're gonna make using that technique. 
Okay, so today's the last day to register for that, so I don't want to spend too much time because most of you have registered already, but I know some of you are like me and wait till the very last minute, so let me know. And then uh, the paper share, last day for the paper share as well. If you wanted a sampling of all the holiday papers or all the papers, I shouldn't call them holiday papers because look at this one. This, this doesn't really scream Christmas, but it is in our August to December mini catalog. So we, you can take advantage of that, okay? So that's the last day to register for that. Okay, and for several re weeks, I've forgotten to show my bucket of goodies. So these are my bucket of goodies that I will be raffling off at um, kind of middle of September, September 19th, I'll be raffling them off. So all summer, people have been collecting raffle tickets for my sizzling summer offer. Okay, so just a reminder of that because we are almost at the end of my sizzling summer offer. So there's different ways to get raffle tickets. Your shopping will get you a ticket. Attending my Zoom class will get you a ticket. Bringing a new friend to class will get you two tickets, five tickets for hosting. So um, it's not too late to store up those tickets so that you can get entered into the drawing for my bucket of goodies. Okay, last but not least, announced today is the Get and Go Starter Kit promotion. If there's a bunch of things you want and you want to get the best deal of all, the Starter Kit is hands down the best deal. Okay, I'm doing something I've never done before. I feel like I should flip the camera around so I can tell you about it. Too flipping today. Um, hang on, maybe I should have talked about it first. Okay, sorry, I don't normally do this flip around again. But I, I feel like I'm not talking to you when I, I mean, not that I can see your faces, but you can't see mine. Okay, so I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm going to do a Q&A night. So um, sometimes I've called them family nights. This time I'm calling it stamping story Q&A night. Um, so if you saw in my newsletter that I sent today, I opened up a Facebook group for anybody who wants to hear my stamping story, who wants to ask me questions um, because with a with a great starter kit promotion going on I mean it's always awesome the starter kit right you get to pick hundred and sixty five dollars of whatever you want you only pay 135 no tax no shipping and uh, so that's already bonus amazing deal I mean if you want to get the cut and emboss machine the cut and emboss machine is $163 tax, shipping, whatever. But if you put it in your starter kit, you're only paying $135, no tax and shipping. And the best thing is all future orders you make, um, you can do it yourself and get that 20% uh, discount. So anyway, it's awesome, always awesome. And I'd love to have you join my team. We have so much fun. We have creative challenges. We have like stamping nights. Anyway, um, but just for September, Stampin' Up! is offering 16 make and take packets that they'll include with your starter kit, as well as these two specific stamp sets, the So Much Love stamp set and the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set. Okay, so if anyone has any questions about it, join my q a night which i've decided is thursday so it's only two days away that's why i'm telling you make sure you join my facebook group i'll post it here but if you're on my newsletter list if you read the email i sent this morning there should be a link um, to find out more about that so that i can have a little more personal interaction with you answer your questions give away prizes and i'll do an extra stamping demonstration in that group as well okay so that is that. Now we're gonna do some stamping. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back again. All of this, I hope I'm not making you dizzy. And if you're just joining in, make sure that you're commenting, that I know you're there, because then I can enter you into the little drawing, okay? Okay. Let me dig out my glasses here. Okay, so who's curious to find out what the product of the month is this month? I don't even have it in its proper container. So you'll all just have to, okay. Where did I put it? You'll all just have to guess. Here it is. It's not in its proper container, but it fits perfectly in here. The container says acorn trinkets, but it's not acorn trinkets. I want to showcase, Brenda's like, I am. I want to showcase the gold hoops, okay? Because when I saw these in the catalog, 
I did not know what to do with them. And so to challenge myself, I thought I would, um, you could learn right along with me on uh, just different designs and ways you can use these gold hoops. Those of you that came to Stamp Camp will have used one of these. Do you remember in, in one of the Christmas card make and takes? Remember we, we used one? So let me uh, find it in the catalog for you. You know what, Debbie? Was it Debbie that said you thought it could be used for Christmas? Um, you, it totally can be used for Christmas, but the card I'm going to do today, I'm not quite in the Christmas mood yet, so I did not make a Christmas card today, but I'll show you where it is in the catalog. It's in the embellishment section here, right here. Okay, you might not have even noticed. They're called gold hoop embellishments. They're 1025, and you get 10 um, pieces. Okay, so I am going to show you uh, different ways to use it all month long. Each week, yes, right? Each week, um, you'll see a new project using the gold hoops. Okay, so let's get started with today's project. And I know you think these hoops are good for Christmas. I think it's the gold color that makes you think they're good for Christmas. But since I'm not in the Christmas mood, we are not making a Christmas card. I'm using the Pretty Seaside Spray. Okay. All right. I think we still have people joining in, which is great. Welcome. Each Tuesday afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I like to do a little stamping show and share some stamping announcements. And it's just a way for us to connect. Okay, so this is good. So this is an eight and a half by 11 that has been cut in half at four and a quarter. This is the gorgeous seaside spray color. All the colors are gorgeous in their own way. They all have their own personality. And then we'll score it at five and a half. This will be our card base, okay? And then let's use some Whisper White cardstock. I did already pre-cut it so that it's four inches by five and a quarter. Hey, Lindsay, I see that you're late. You missed the announcement that you won a prize from a previous uh, Facebook Live drawing. So those of you that still haven't commented and are watching, feel free to comment so I can enter you in the drawing for next week. Okay, so this is four inches by five and a quarter. I wanted to add some texture. So I'm gonna use the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. And I find that the embossing folders, they give such great interest to the card with not that much effort. You just basically slip it into the folder. I want my bricks to go in this direction. That's why I, I put my paper that way. If I, if I put my paper the other way, the bricks would, I mean, depend. I'm going to make a portrait card. If I was doing more of a landscape card, I would do that. But since I'm doing portrait, I'll put it in this way. Okay, and then that will give us our sort of brick background. I'm hoping that it's straight, although, you know, you could go into downtown Toronto and look at a brick building, and the bricks are not straight, so I guess it's not really a huge concern. Okay, here's our new cut and emboss machine, which I have been using for weeks with you guys, but I always had to tell you that you couldn't purchase it yet. But today, I can tell you that it is now available for purchase. Okay, so it stores up really nicely, just like that. So this is the full size one, the mini. Many people have been asking me about the mini cut and emboss machine. It's not available yet. Okay, so I'll let you know when it's available. But the full size one is great because it, it fits all our dies and embossing folders. Okay, put that down. And so what I love about it is that everything is numbered now. Okay, so we'll look at platform number one, it tells you what to do. So since I'm using a uh, 3D embossing folder, it's going to be platform one, then our embossing folder. Okay. And then our plat and then our plate four. See how it's numbered? Plate number four. So perfect. We'll stick that on top and crank it through. Okay. It's smooth like butter. Okay. Awesome. And we can open up the folder and look at that. 
I love this machine. Okay, so if you're coveting this machine, if you don't have one, remember the best way to get it is by purchasing the starter kit and joining my team because you'll get such a great discount. Plus you get the extra perks of being able to order for yourself at a discount on your future orders and be a part of our fun community. Okay, so, oh, I'm gonna need this again. So let me move this to the side. Okay, so I think we're good. This is our, our next layer. Should I glue it on yet? I think we're safe to glue it on. Can you use the new plates with the old Big Shot? I am not sure about the magnetic plate. The magnetic plate, oh, sorry, only became available today, so I don't have it yet. I need to order it, and then I'll try, and I'll let you know. I'm sure the official party line is that no, you cannot. But, um, oh, is, am I done on this baby? Let's see. Um, there we go. But I know that the cutting pads, these clear cutting pads, I think you can do it. I know they don't recommend it, but um, for the cutting pads, yes. I'm not sure about the magnetic plate. The magnetic sheet. I'm not sure. I don't even think it's a whole platform, the magnet. Okay, so see already our card is coming together. Okay, next I'm going to take this little... Um, piece of Whisper White and the stamp set that I'm using is the Bloom and Grow. If you guys have been tracking with me on my Tuesday at twos, I think there was one month that this was the feature product. So I'm bringing it back even though our feature product is the Gold Hoops today. I thought I would use it. Oh, you know what? I already got ahead of myself. I already have it all mounted. Okay, so rubber stamps. These are not rubber ones actually. These are photopolymer ones. Um, they cling onto the block okay and so all you have to do is put the stamp onto the block I'm gonna ink it up with some black memento ink and we'll stamp it on here okay I love stamping up stamps look at how clean and crisp that images. Okay, so we're going to color that. What I'm also going to do, since I have a little Whisper White left here, I'm going to use my two and a quarter inch circle punch. And so this is a tip when you're using the gold hoops. I find that it actually works quite nicely. The size works pretty nice. The two and a quarter inch circle punch matches almost exactly with these hoops. Okay, so I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so I'm going to take the sentiment from this stamp set, the thank you sentiment, and I'm going to use Night of Navy ink. And our ink pad's so juicy, so you don't need to push hard. I would just tap, tap, tap lightly. And I'm just kind of trying to aim it in the center there. Okay. And there we go. And so what we can do, actually, I was going to use the hoop to accent the sentiment. Okay. Let's move this away before I stick my elbow right in it. So I have so many people to thank. I'm always thankful for every order I receive. I'm thankful for all the people that enjoy stamping with me. So what I'm going to do, I, I think I saw a question earlier about how to adhere the hoop. So how I've been doing it is I've been using our mini glue dots. So don't let the word mini fool you. I find these very super power-ish, like they are strong adhesives. So just because they're small doesn't mean they're not powerful. Um, I've been using my take your pick tool a lot. So what I can do is grab, see the mini See the glue there? I'm just going to grab it off. And then I am going to stick it onto the paper here. Okay. Yes, these hoops are great. Like I was a bit intimidated by them at first because I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know how to use these fancy embellishments. Give me a rhinestone any day kind of thing. But when I saw a few projects using these hoops, it 
it, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. So I'm just taking the glue dot and I'm kind of putting it at the edge of the paper and just folding it over. Okay, these things are super sticky. So I think two will probably be enough, but anyway. So where I'm trying to put the glue dot, I mean, you don't know this yet because you don't know what the card's gonna look like, but I'm putting it where I kind of know the hoop will be covered a bit so that if the glue dot is sticking out or peeking out, you don't really see it because it's being covered by something else. Okay, and then I'm just gonna try to eyeball it and kind of get this hoop centered on my on my two and a quarter inch circle punch out that I did. Can you see that? Isn't that a fun embellishment, these gold hoops? Okay, so you get 10 in a package, which is great. And then maybe I'll use dimensionals to pop it up. I love stamping. I'm not at all um, artsy or creative, but I can stamp and it just makes me feel so happy to make pretty things. And then another great thing is this card is eventually gonna get sent to someone to thank them and bless them. So, okay, this is what we've got so far. You see that gold hoop there? It adds a little bit of shine. It adds a little bit of um, texture. So fun, so fun. So make sure you join in every Tuesday because each week this month in September, the gold hoop is the product of the month. So I'll be showing a different project each week using the gold hoops. So let's keep finishing up our card. Let's color in these babies. I'm using the Seaside Spray. Seaside Spray blends these markers. I can't live without them. How many of you are in the same boat as me? Not so great with artsy coloring things, but when you use blends, you feel like a, a real artist because you can't go wrong. The ink coverage is smooth. And because it's from Stampin' Up, the color coordinates with the ink, with the cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna use the light seaside spray. I like to go in a circular motion. Just checking the comments. Okay, so. We can color that in. While I'm coloring in, maybe I can talk a little more about why I decided to do a Q&A night. And uh, one of the reasons is because this past weekend, I was supposed to be in New Orleans enjoying a Stampin' Up! convention, but thanks to COVID, we all stayed put and fortunately Stampin' Up! made a decision early on that the conference would go virtual, so it gave them enough time to be able to create a really awesome virtual experience for us. And one of the things that we discussed, obviously, is how COVID has totally changed things for so many of us demonstrators. I am not the only demonstrator in the world that loves stamping and loves sharing it and loves seeing my stamping friends and asking about their family and how's the kids and what did you cook for dinner last night? But now with most of the in-person events not really happening, it's harder to stay connected. And so someone, one of the other demonstrators I think brought it up, I don't know where I heard it, but it's such a great idea to just have a Q&A kind of night just a way to connect. I mean, I always do my Facebook Live on Tuesdays and I love connecting this way with you as well, but I don't really open it up for questions or anything because I'm too busy showing you what I'm stamping. Sorry, this is Night of Navy Light in case those of you who are wondering. So these flowers I did Seaside Spray, light and dark. Then I used the Night of Navy in the middle. I'm gonna use the soft sea foam on the leaves. So let's do that. Um, so I thought, why not have a Q&A night? It's a perfect time considering the starter kit is on sale. And I know anybody who's joined my team knows that I'm I'm not really high pressure type. Stampin' Up! in general is not high pressure type. Um, there's a lot of focus on enjoying the experience and taking advantage of the discount, <laughs> shopping, shopping for fun, all that sort of thing. Shopping with our discount, creative challenges. Um, 
So I thought people might have questions because I know when I talk to people personally, when we used to meet in person, usually, you know, I would get a lot of questions. But now that everything's online, it's hard for hard for you to ask questions because we're not face to face. So I thought Thursday night, mark it in your calendar, join the special Facebook group. The Q&A night will be on. I can answer your questions about the starter kit, about my Stampin' Up! journey. I'd love to tell you my Stampin' story. Okay. Okay, so I think that's good. So these, this stamp set that we're using here um, has coordinating dies. So we are going to... Yes, Gail, don't you love the rings? I wasn't sure of them at first, but they are definitely growing on me. And that's why I thought, oh, I'll use it as the product of the month because it'll also force me to play with them a bit more and uh, feel more comfortable with them. Okay, so this is what we got so far. I'm gonna cut this baby out. Let's bring our little cut and emboss machine here. Okay, let me move all this. Try to keep things cleaner. I'm trying to keep things cleaner. It doesn't mean I always succeed. Okay. So we'll need one more die cutting. We need a different sandwich. It's all laid out on the pictures anyway. So we need platform one, plate two, cutting pad three. Lay this down on top. The die will match perfectly if I can line it up here. There we go. And we'll put a cutting pad on top and roll that through. I'm so excited this is finally available in the store. I know some of you have been asking me about it, so now you can get it. You could always get it before and just get the starter kit and get it, because that's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. You get to be first to get everything. You get to be first to try everything and see everything. Okay, so there's our little flower cutout. Now we can move this away, put the die away before I lose it, and we'll finish up our card here. Okay, so I think we could put that down there. I'm gonna use some dimensionals. Pop that up. Yeah, I think that's nice. I don't know which way is better. Hmm, something like that. Maybe, I can't decide which I like better. Maybe more like this, hard to say. Both ways are beautiful. Okay, and then I'll just put a little bow up here. Let's see. Got to stay coordinated, right? We've got a card base with seaside spray, so I'm gonna tie a little bow, seaside spray. At first I thought I didn't know if I it would work because the seaside spray, this ribbon, sort of like a glitter ribbon, there's a little bit of silver in it. And I thought, oh, is that weird to have the silver and then the gold hoop? But when I did it, I still liked it. So, so I just stuck with it. So there you go. These gold hoops are not just for Christmas. They're not just for golden things. Okay. And our friend, we need those glue dots. I love glue dots. And we'll stick that on. Yes, I know, I'm not really going with the fall theme. This seems like a spring card, but I have a strong tendency towards pretty floral things. I can't help myself. Maybe next week I'll do something fallish with the kids going back to school and everything. There we go. That is our finished card showcasing our new, well, not, I don't know whether showcasing is the right word, but it's using our new product of the month. So if you're interested in seeing what else I do with the gold hoops, make sure to tune in next week. If there's anything you want to purchase, don't be shy because we have a clearance rack refresh going on and um, you have the September online ordering special going on. And um, if your order's $80 or more, I will also send you on top of the tutorials, the fall tutorials I told you about, I will also send you the make and take packet for each of the four projects that we'll be doing all month. So thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> 
Yes, we do need pretty light colors because there's a lot of heavy stuff going on out there. And so that's when I escape and just go into my escapey world and create something beautiful. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Let me flip this around so I can say farewell. I, I'm very careful when I move around here. I don't want to trip or break anything. Okay. Great. So if you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to join my group um, for my Q&A session on Thursday. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Bye. Have a great day. Have a great week. See you later. You're welcome.